Autopilot keeps getting better and better, but it's far from perfect. Here's an instance where the car was trying to do an automatic lane change and I had to take over to avoid a collision. Well, let's see if we can get over to the right here. Slowing down to get in and we'll... did not detect that. Oh God. Probably wouldn't have hit, but Jesus. Seems every time you're trying to change lanes, someone else is trying to change into your lane. That was a little close for comfort. Bug report, car did not detect vehicle to the front and right in its path. Let's take a look at this again in slow motion. In moderate traffic, there are vehicles in every lane and they're only separated by about one to two car lengths, so you're almost always changing into somebody's blind spot. You can see that autopilot detects the black car in the target lane well, but with all its sensors, it just doesn't see the VW bug coming into its lane from the front right corner. You can see in the display, it actually even displays the car colliding, but fortunately that didn't actually happen. I've noticed the front side corners to be a bit of a blind spot for autopilot in other situations such as uh, merging. Now in a previous video, I showed that autopilot does pretty well at detecting vehicles behind it and to the side. Previously, autopilot did not detect vehicles coming from behind or to the side very well. Uh, but with uh, version 9 released in October 2018, it started using the side uh, pillar cameras to get a good side view and also the repeater cameras on the fender to uh, look backwards and to the side. But the forward facing cameras would have to use the fisheye lens in order to see that front side corner. And maybe because of the nature of the fisheye image, it's really hard to identify those objects in the periphery. Now this might not be as big of a deal because of course the driver can see the uh, front side corner pretty clearly through the windshield. It'd be great if Autopilot could detect uh, turn signals and I think at this point it doesn't do that yet, but if you know more, uh, let me know. So still plenty of room for improvement. I did submit a bug report, so hopefully in an upcoming update uh, Tesla fixes this blind spot. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and watching me just about piss in my pants. But in the end, it was fortunately just a close call. If you found this video helpful, give it a like. If you're interested in seeing what's coming out next, please subscribe. I think I'd like to do a compilation of a lot of little different situations. And if you're researching to uh, purchase a Tesla, uh, go ahead and click on the link and learn about how you can get free supercharging. Please drive safe out there. Hope you have a really good day and see you next time.